What do you guys think about our girl, N. Dorsey? She got a horn. She's pretty. She loves nice shoes. And she is very aware. She's very aware of how attractive she is. She's extremely confident. It actually kind of scares me. It does a lot. There's a lot of scenes where she just kind of uses her heels and long legs and just kind of pushes down people. And obviously that's very intentional by the author. And I love the example that she gives when comparing the Zahad princesses to designer clothing or shoes. Zahad the king basically wants to pimp his girls out and they are all basically flex merchandise. Pretty shoes on display. None of them are allowed to have you know, romance or any families like that because you're simply just an object of desire and that's what these Zahad princesses are. I hope the fucking contract is good. I hope they get fucking paid well. The privileges are nice because it kind of sucks to live a life like that where if you fucking leave and you try to get married to a dude who makes good chicken pie, your house is going to get fucking burned down. And then that's what happens to Anak. We learned about Anak's backstory as well. Her mom is the actual Zahad princess who was the owner of April, uh, Green April, I think. And that's why she hates the Zahad princesses, because they're all fakes. It doesn't matter. They're all fucking fakes. All the Zahad things is fake. So I don't know who, to want, who I want to side with. I think that Anak, even though she's pursuing the path of revenge, she's probably... It's probably justified why she feels like that. I probably would do that too. Do that too. And then there's stuff going on with Rachel. Her name is Michelle now, actually. Not Rahel. It's Mihel. And Mihal is like... Fuck. Mihel is like... I should be hating her, and I do hate her, and she. Then they're trying to make us feel like empathetic towards her, right? Because she's like in bed, rotting, just eating chocolate bars in the dark, being sad alone while Bomb. You saw in the imagery, right? Rachel's put in the shadow while Bomb, which is funny because Bomb means night. He's the one casted in sun with friends surrounding him, but it's like, bitch, you can fucking join us. It's not like we put you aside. She's acting as if we're the one cutting her off, but it's like, what the fuck? We're literally chasing after you. You're not communicating. You're being all weird and gloomy. It's like the fucking random ass chuny kid that refuses to get along with the rest of the class and just hangs out on the shadows. It's like, <laughs> I'm different. I don't know. She needs to fucking get corrected. Let's begin today's reaction. First man to climb the tower. Zahad. Three eyes. Why three eyes? Does he actually have three eyes? What is the significance of the symbol of Zahad? More lore. What's a special boon? And the women granted a special boon by Zahad. I gotta fucking Google what boon means here, bro. Boon is a thing that is helpful or beneficial. A favor or request. Who the fuck says boon, bro? It's such a random ass term. They got a favor and they're pretty shoes now. He just poaches girls, bro. That's gotta be like the ultimate cuckoldry. I don't know. Because like, think about Kun's dad, right? Think about Kun's dad. He was like, all right, Maria, my daughter, you're gonna be... You, you, you're gonna be the princess. So like, this other dude literally approaches other families. He's like, I want your daughter. I'm on, I wanna pimp out your daughter. She's gonna be mine. And then... <laughs> Everyone's like, take our daughters. Please, King Zahad, take our daughters. For what? Do they get a lot of money? Some super privileged? Like, it's gotta be fucking good, huh? Or maybe it's just, like, no one can defy King Zahad. So it's not even, like, it's not even an option. He's just here to take your fucking daughters. Also, I just realized, holy shit, princess designs. I just realized, hold the fuck up. Princess designs, holy shit. We know Endorsey. This is looking like Maria, the one that betrayed Kun. Pink hair girl, I'm not sure. Looks like Bochi the Rock behind. There's a girl with red hair with and a blonde girl. Uh, we, that's Yuri, we know. Okay, cool. They may not have intercourse for Barrett. <laughs> it's weird how there's blood dripping down while they're saying that as if it's like the virginity, you know, being broken and like, you know, it's like... Just dripping blood. Okay, they may not have intercourse or bear child. We know this. And Anak tried to do that. And then what happened? Um, while trying to cook chicken pie, the house burned down. <laughs> yeah, think about it. They're basically K-pop idols. No boyfriends allowed. The shoe escaped! Get Anak! <laughs> what happened, man? 
sad, sad. Little baby Kuranak was so cunning and cute, and now she's just like, I am an Avenger! <laughs> okay, Anak versus the uh, Endorse is still. The power she received from the king. What is that? power though it's like more than just the 13 series right it's not simply green april there must be some like oh you have free control of shinsu or something there must be something even crazier what you don't think she experienced hardship i'd argue anak suffered more than anyone else here basically endorsi is saying anak you never had to go through the idol training boot camp that the rest of us 16 year old girls were projected to by fucking JYP Entertainment and you don't know what it's like to be on a diet of 300 calories each day and doing dance choreography for 18 hours a day and therefore you've never suffered. That's the comparison she's made by being a Princess of Zahad and Anak being like an outsider. <laughs> Oh, the heal again. Bro, that fucking heal broke again? That shit happened last night, girl. You need new shoes, bro. Come on. Obasan? <laughs> My only niece. <laughs> it just got super cute all of a sudden. This felt like a this look actually looked like a sibling fighting between sisters, right? <laughs> look at that cheeky face. <laughs> I think that even though these two are starting off rough, they're probably gonna become good friends. I bet Endorse is gonna be like a good big sister to Anaka later in the future. Right now it seems a little rough, but once they cash their shit together, I think this is a beautiful maybe sibling ship gonna happen. <laughs> Who's left here now? Did no one survive? Those are the last two? <laughs> my beautiful legs. My national treasure of a face. Thick trunks! <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think thick trunks of a legs is very attractive, but like, it's funny how Anaka's calling Endorsi a hag. Like, it's like a seven-year-old kid like, telling like a 14-year-old girl that like, you're a hag. <laughs> This bond. How good was the chicken pies? Hell no. That chicken pie was so fucking good. You have no idea. Burn down the kitchen, though. The chef? Who she send it off to? Okay, it's kind of fun. That was like two or three times she came back again. It's like, bye-bye now, bye. Bitch, get the fuck out of here! Okay, for real now, this time we go. So we gave her that jewel that we found in the river. I'm so sorry for fighting with father all the time. Uh -huh. Keep fighting. Beat that ass, mommy. <laughs> yeah, domestic abuse, baby. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck the dad up. <laughs> when you fight dad, think chicken pie. This family is fucked. It sounds like the mom like violently just like uses her princess powers to make the chef make chicken pie. You don't want to cook, motherfucker! Make that chicken pie! Oh, please! Please stop hurting me! <laughs> Baby Ganak isn't so nice, guys. <laughs> we're bonding, though. I think we're actually bonding. Shinsu control. Okay, wave controllers. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, a little pew pew squirt gun. Lauro and Bomb is gonna have like a huge ass fucking cannon. They keep showing Ho and how he lacks 
the power and how you remember last episode he looked very jealous so keep an eye on this motherfucker this guy was acting so fucking weird last episode they keep highlighting how insecure and like weak he is compared to others this dude's gonna fucking backstab us man 100 percent at this rate they keep focusing on like that bomb let's see it the red hair girl is so interesting to me need to know more about her Hydro pump. Woo! Damn! First one hit the target. Two on the left and right. Simply by the friction of the air, the impact. Not even hitting it. It grazed it with wind power. Pop, pop. Yeah, he's different. Not bad? You mean he's insane? Off screen, Gray. Why do they keep doing this with Toe? Either he's going to have a character development moment where he realizes that instead of being insecure and trying to like hide my weakness, I'll go learn from Bum or the other way. They keep investing more scenes to be like, hey, guys, look at this character. He kind of sucks at this and he's getting jealous. What's going to happen? Laure, why don't you teach me? <laughs> Serena has the pillow. <laughs> Ew. No hag. No one. Wow, TV the tower is supposed to grow. Maybe indoor seat, but Serena, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Serena. <laughs> she be suing Serena, bro. They're perfect together. <laughs> A bean, coffee bean bag, pillow. What's up, bro? <laughs> Ominous dark music cue. Put ho and dark shading light cue. Gee, I wonder what they're doing with this character, bro. <laughs> I wonder if the anime's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you said, ho. Exactly. You're faking that smile, man. Oh, he looks mad, right? What is your problem, bro? Get over yourself. Holy fuck. How is it Bomb's fault that you suck? Literally look at yourself and hate yourself and then use that as motivation to get better. Makes no fucking sense how mad Ho is that bomb. Endorosanとアナクさんが。ああ、昨日授業中にやり合ったの姫同士なのに姫同士だから争うんだろう。権力や支配者からの恩恵すらの関係は少し複雑っぽいし。I think Anak and Endorsey will get along fine. Kun's <laughs> like they both stupid. I would be sad, but I'm not sure if Bum would be sad. <laughs> is Shibisu still under the assumption that Bum is just like a regular person? No, he saw the event of Crown Game. Because, like, it, before that, he showed up and was talking to Bum and was like, you know what? You look really average like me, bro. I feel like we can relate to each other. Come on, let's go, NPC squad. But now, I, I doubt he feels that way, right? Mm. All right, who do we have? Uh, we have fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more. <laughs> Endorsey and Anak, would they join? I'm not sure. <laughs> Find two more friends. This is true. Yeah, Kun's probably right that in such a competitive test, it does need no favor to help out other people that's in need of help. Because, like, if, if you really want to min-max this, you probably want, like, weaker people, you know, advancing while competitive people drop out so that you can knock other people out. But, like, 
maybe it's not a bad idea to try to help other people and try to make allies and close friends so that when some shit does go down, we can like rise up together rather than trying to like climb alone. No, it's showtime! Zaza. <sighs> and there's his leg. <laughs> She's out of points! <laughs> Bomb. Shibisu! 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 Okay, Bob, okay. <laughs> I thought Shibisu would show up in the front. No, 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 no. This is to get Andorsi's name on the paper. Okay. You are a sinful woman. You use men and throw them aside. No, 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 you gotta sign. Yeah, it's, it's uh, transactional. There's no way Bomb came up with this plan. Kun 100% did and then made Bomb and Hatsuko do this, right? Sign the paper. Every day. That's a pretty good deal. Oh.ウルワシの姫君と食事を。They <laughs> made him say this line. Kun had to written that. Sh -sh Sharing a meal with, with the most beauteous princess would be a dream. And Kun made sure that Shibisu did not go in there. Kun made sure Pam and Hot went in there because they're pretty good looking. Shibisu's like, I'm sorry, you, you cannot be there at this. Wow. Alright, we gotta buy the special lunch set every time. Oh, pie. Chicken pie? Ew! That is... That is really manipulative! You got her chicken pie from the backstory! Oh, dude! Dude, that is... That's gotta be Kun. Kun, Kun did the homework. Holy shit. He's like, oh yeah? She loved chicken pie before the mom died? Alright, get her some chicken pie then. <laughs> Too smart, man. Too smart. That'll do it. Oh, now Shibisu owes us a favor. Yeah, who wrote that line? Louder. <laughs> this is actually getting so fun now. Because like... Before, we barely knew the characters and everyone's trying to scope each other out. It, it's like the first day at like a new school, first day at some kind of like a new camp or something and everyone's trying to feel each other out. But now, you know, we're making friends. It's like the second week, third week. Everyone's vibing. We got dorms and shit like this. You know, this is nice. <laughs> Fuck Rachel still though. <laughs> and you're seeing a knock. There it is. <laughs> She is just like the biggest fucking neat right now. Just garbage piling up, just sitting in bed, just doing nothing but just like eating and then passing out. Like, ugh, just, I will not pity this girl. I refuse to pity this girl, bro. She can go fucking die in a hole alone. See if I give a fuck. If she turns out to be a really good girl, oh my god. Well, that's that's the beauty of content, right? It doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. If I'm right that she's a bitch, then we were like, mm, we fucking knew it. And everyone was like, L Rachel. And then if she's actually a good person, then and then I can title the video with the thumbnail like this. I was wrong about Rachel. And then I farmed those views too. It doesn't matter if I'm wrong or right, bro. I still fucking win. She's getting only the cheap apples. Zahat Imp? Yuri's nickname is Zahat Imp? Then look at our table, bro. We got some fucking friends. I mean, this is the 10 people of the roster. And then you got Rachel buying Apple a 70% off because I guess she's trying to really save points. Like, just join the fucking table, bitch. No one is bullying you. No one is excluding you. Just please join and hang out together. What is your deal? She hit on us. She didn't hit us though. Endorsey specifically said, right? Endorsey specifically said that Rachel gives off weird vibes. An episode ago or two episodes ago? I remember her making a direct like look at Rachel and being like this one's troublesome or something, right? 
Oh, Michelle Lyons. Because they were in the first party together with the big boy. <laughs> I feel like Endorsey is just everything that is just so wrong with women. Toxic as fuck. Just like, yeah, we're meant to be objectified. Yeah, I just used him for food. Yeah, I, men and women can't. She's like a girl that Andrew Tate created. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 everything she does just doubles down on, like, the double standards and everything that people, like, misogynistic says about women. Like, belongs in the kitchen, is only used as beauty object, you know, men and women can't be friends, it's gotta be transactional, but it, it's very interesting what kind of character and Dorsey is. I don't hate her, I think that she's scary. She's very attractive, she's extremely confident, she's scary that she's so aware of these things. <laughs> Because she ran away first. Even Endorsey knows this is fucked up. Whatever you're chasing better be better than bomb. Damn. Does she just feel guilty that she left behind bomb and now she just feels so embarrassed to like say i'm here and i, I wanna i'm sorry is she just like refusing to apologize she just double downing on like the guilt i don't know why is the star so fucking important well the star is it's there's it's just her childhood dream because she lived underground and always wanted to know this legend called the sky and the stars, right? There's no power you get. It's just like a personal goal and a dream from the past. Eat those 70% discount apples. Rotten ass apple. Oh! oh. What did she say? Who does she think she is? Ooh, we got a cat fight going on. And Dorsey versus Rachel. I would love to see it, but like, I don't think Rachel can fight. Nothing has shown me that she has any combat abilities. She seems to kind of get carried by her teammates. And she is maybe like a Shibisu type. Not the intelligence, but I'm talking about utility support and then everyone else does the shit around her. He's an irregular. He's the main character of the show. 25th Palm. Yeah, and then he's gonna say something like, Oh, we, we should out him. There's something suspicious about him. You're gonna fail. I wonder if he was listening. I wonder if Lauda was listening or he's like, Damn, bro, shut the fuck up, pussy. Skill issue. Look how exhausted he is after every time he uses Shinsu too. You're just not the same as Bomb Man. What the f- That's the horn. That's a single horn. So, whole backstory. People were collecting their horns. Genocide kind of deal. Well, that's dark. That's dark. Okay, sure. Backstory sad. Sure. Why do I give a fuck about why he's being jealous about Bam then? You tell me, oh, bad people came and took our horns and killed our clan. Okay. Terrible. Terrible. But why are you then jealous about Bum having all the chances to control? Why are you acting insecure? Why are you acting double-faced, acting like you're helping him and betraying him act like that? I don't think this backstory absolves him of all the fucking things he's doing wrong. The backstory, what, makes him be a jealous piece of piece of shit? Ah, nah, bro. No, no fucking pity here. Fuck him. <laughs> Do you want to climb the tower? No shit, that's what I'm doing here. Who wrote this letter? Ah, shit. Who wrote this fucking letter, bro? The Beyblade guy? No, it's not him. He's not here to recruit Ho. Interesting. Mysterious person dropped a letter to Ho. Do you want to climb? Oh. It's... Who could this be? Yu Hansung? Yu Hansung letter to... Why the fuck would Yu Hansung give a fuck about Ho? Yu Hansung would be interested in Bomb. Letter to other instructors. Rachel? Why would Ra Rachel's trying to find Rachel's trying to find new allies that she can see that Ho is being pushed out of the friend group and maybe Ho has negative feelings, so Rachel wants to use and manipulate Ho like that? Maybe. 
Who else is there? I can't think of anyone at the moment. No, it's not him, right? No, you, you, the, the transition scene just happens to be Yu Hansung right after. There's no way it's actually him. Was it? it? Why would he do it? No, no, no. These are just coincidences. Why would he give a fuck about Ho? I... Ah, shit. I don't, I, I don't know. I know one theory, actually. This is like really fucking reaching deep now. This is like tinfoil land, 0.0001% land. Yu Hansung, if we assume that he's trying to smuggle bomb in as a regular, he wants to make sure people don't fuck around around bomb. So by having a letter that baits Ho, he knows Ho's being mean to bomb. I don't fucking know. Dude, we're reaching. We're, we're really fucking reaching at this point. Okay, joint positions test. New testing coming. Tag? We're gonna play tag? Is it? This must be intentional by Yuhan Sung, man. Tag. Rack doesn't have to play because he passed. <laughs> so like the top competitors for the group so far gets the pass. And then the people who haven't passed yet, they have to play tag. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, he had an entire training arc by himself last episode. <laughs> Zoro! Kukaku! Zoro still made it, okay? Let's go, Zoro! Michelle Light. Ho. What is that? Kun looking at Michelle and Ho. Was it the letter really from Rachel? Or do they have like a secret alliance now? もう一人はチームの釣り師にもらう。窓の外に同務場の建物が見えるな。これまで逃がすか。我々の鬼からバッジを奪うか。100k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k。200k
Oh, bro, come on! Gara's done! So that box is where they operate. Light bearers. And it's like a computer room, and they're doing all different strategic positioning and stuff, and you're done. Uh, is that Kun? Anna? Uh, oh shit, Anna's getting dragged. <laughs> Rack doesn't give a fuck. He's a sore loser, huh? So this is what Letterer was worried for. And that is today's episode of Tower of God. We're getting into a new test. Joint position test tag. Basically, uh, you're it. There's two it's, uh, badges, collect the badges, shit like that. You know the fucking rule. Now, there's two separate teams, though. We're on the opposite side of bomb. How is that gonna work? If we win, apparently they can't. I'm not entirely sure about the rules, but surely we're gonna figure out a way where everyone can pass. It's so funny how Rack already won, and he's just eating, like, a bucket of chocolates while Rat laughing at everybody, saying, ha 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 ha, you filthy turtles and lizards. Skill issue, I've already passed. Now, there's some other stuff going on behind the scenes with Rachel and Ho. Not sure who gave people... I'm not sure who gave Ho this letter saying, Do you want to climb the tower? I feel like it's Rachel. If you're thinking about her trying to seek out other allies that potentially could harbor negative emotions like her. So, Rachel's probably a prime candidate. It was just so uncanny how they showed Yu Han Sung immediately after the letter was dropped. So, it's like, what? You got you telling me that Yu Han Sung did it? I don't understand why that would be. Maybe he's trying to sniff out people. Maybe he's using it as bait in case that people are trying to fuck with Bum. Because my theory is that this motherfucker is trying to smuggle an irregular into the tower based on his conversation with Letero before, right? Some of the other stuff we learned about Ho's backstory. I don't give a fuck. Sorry, I do not give a fuck. Uh, Rachel, sorry, Endorsey versus Anak scenes. It was pretty good. I think that they're gonna just like become good friends. I thought that like they were gonna harbor strong grudges and then there's like this like chibi scene where it's like two sisters kind of fighting like siblings. So I think they're gonna be fine. They seem to like bonded over the flashback story and how the previous Anak was also nice to Endorsey. So I think they're gonna be fine. So that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content and until next time, take care.